This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. Gee, I wonder where anybody got the idea that they might have been talking about violence on Glenn Beck's program. Now, when people did take uh, matters into their own hands and they did grab their guns, like the Holocaust shooter, well, Beck is going to turn around and <laughs> blame the liberals for it. That's great. One B. Well, this Von Brun's culture is a tribe of racist, anti-Jewish, uh, anti-Negro, anti-immigrant, everything. And therefore, he's a phenomenon of the left because racism right. is a form of collectivism. The right wing is individualist, believes in individual rights, freedom, the dignity of each individual life. But it's the left wing. You know, Hitler was national socialism, right? How, how did, how, it's how a did leftist it, phenomenon. How did it happen that this was that you look at people who are Nazis and you say that those are right wing. It, it doesn't make any sense well, there was the, <laughs> the Nazis weren't right wing. No, that doesn't make any sense. It, it turns out that the liberals were the ones that are racist. That's funny because when Martin Luther King was fighting, who was he fighting, Jerry? You remember if he was fighting liberals or conservatives? I can't, it's tough to re remember. When Hitler was fighting in Germany was he fighting liberals or conservatives it's hard to remember no he must have since he, since Hitler and the Nazis were all liberals obviously they were against the conservatives in their country right you know Steve Cohen said something today I'm gonna take a little time out to do it here all right Steve Cohen is a uh, representative from Tennessee uh, we've had him on the program before and he's a fighter and he you know he likes to call it as he sees it right and, uh, and he called out the right wing on their lines uh, in uh, discussing health care reform. Now, he's taking heat for calling them out on it. Uh, but uh, you just saw the clips I played of Glenn Beck. They called the left or liberals Nazis all the time, right? And then they say, oh, well, of course, yeah, well, uh, that makes sense. You have to get angry at the liberals because the liberals are the ones that are the Nazis, etc. Even though it is... A complete and utter fabrication, and it, in fact, turns the truth completely on its head. Now, Steve Cohen, when talking about health care, said this. Let's go to clip number five. The nonpartisan, bipartisan, Congressional Budget Office says it's going to cost us $230 billion the first decade, and $1.2 trillion thereafter. And they say, well, they can have their opinion. Those are facts. Those are nonpartisan facts of people we hire to give us the truth. And they don't like the truth, so they summarily dismiss it. They say it's a government takeover of health care, a big lie, just like Goebbels. You say it enough, you repeat the lie, you repeat the lie, you repeat the lie, and eventually people believe it, like blood libel. That's the same kind of thing. The Germans said enough about the Jews, and the people believed it, and you had the Holocaust. Now... Uh, of course, the right-wing blogs are enraged. How dare he? We only get to call you Nazis, even though it's 100% the reverse of reality. But if he mentions Nazis in any way, and now he didn't call the Republicans Nazis, you heard it for yourself, he said that they lie like the main propaganda guy for the Nazis, which is Goebbels. Which is, Goebbels is the infamous for saying, if you repeat the lie enough, people will believe you. Now, ironically, Beck, for example, in the clip we just showed you, repeats the lie that the Nazis were liberals over and over again, and then conservatives begin to believe it. They're like, yeah, yeah, I think the Nazis were liberals. There's so much irony there. Because then they turn around and criticize Cohen for saying, how dare you ever compare uh, the Republicans to Nazis in any way, shape, or form. What? Only you get to do that, right? And he said, blood libel, how could he possibly do this? This is so uncivil. Sarah Palin just said blood libel, and you defended her to the hilt. You thought it was the greatest thing that ever happened. So what happened? Well, you see, I guess when you're not concerned with the truth, you get to make these claims that are not backed by the facts at all, and ironically, prove Steve, and Co Steve Cohen right. Young Turks. Jenk, people don't know this about me, but I'm an underground gamer. I you like, are. I love to play video games. Well, then you're going to love our new sponsor, Gamefly. They're the largest online video game rental service in the world. 7,000 titles, new and classic. Also, no late fees, no due dates, shipping's always free. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for a free trial membership.